Hello, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. Topic of this video is why you should go on dates. Before I get into this video, I want to let you guys know this channel is all about helping men and women be the best that could be in all aspects of life. Um, you know, dating, relationships, health, wealth, and mindset. I want you guys to be complete people. It is a constant journey, but I'm here to help. I want to guide you in the right direction. Uh, but yes, I know we got some new people here. Welcome. I know we got some returning people here. Welcome. Whether you're new or you're returning, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I make some new videos. And of course, if you want to support me or if you just like my videos, hit the like button. I appreciate it nonetheless. So even um, in the beginning, you could hit the button and help the video out. But yes, let's get back to the topic at hand. Why you should go on dates. So this is actually a very important topic. Two completely different schools of thought. Some guys feel like if you just want sex, don't go on dates. No need for dates. Some guys feel like even if you do just want sex, you should go on dates. And both of them work. It really depends on, on you and your, your tolerance. You know what I mean? Some people have a low tolerance. They feel like, I just want to get to the point. So it's like, hey, I'm not looking for anything serious. Let's just meet up when we meet up and do our thing. But some guys, they want to be a little bit more in-depth and potentially look for a little bit more than just sex. You know what I mean? And and that's all good. You know, so ultimately, um, yeah, and I'm going to talk about why you should go on the dates. First reason. Very big one. You want to have fun. Having fun is the name of the game. Not only when it comes to dating, but in life. You're not having fun doing it. You more than likely shouldn't be doing it, at least not for the long term. It goes with dates. You know what I mean? You should always want to have fun on your dates. So if it's somebody who you like, you're doing something that you you, you will enjoy, you can bring them out there. You know what I mean? And, you know, hopefully they're a good time, you know, and they don't bring down the, the energy, you know. So on top of that, obviously... You want to be able to um, enjoy yourself because if you you want to be able to do something on a date that you would have fun doing by yourself. You want to be able to go on a date that you in doing something that you would want to you would have fun doing by yourself, and the person you're inviting should have add more fun to the situation. You know, you shouldn't be going on a date so you don't even really like doing it. You just want to impress the girl. That's that's not good. That's Or whoever you're going on a date with, that's not good. You don't want to go on a date to impress somebody. You want to go on a date to have fun. And whoever you're with, they shouldn't be bringing down the fun. They should elevate the fun, you know. So that's the first reason. You go on dates to have fun. Second reason, you go on. you should go on dates to do what you want. If you like going out to bars, go on a date, go to a bar, have a date at a bar. If you like um, going to the park, go to the park for your date. If you like going to sporting events, you know, go to, you know, sporting event. If you like going to amusement parks, whatever it is, you should do what you want. That's the bottom line. Do what you want. On the day, it doesn't matter what the woman wants. And again, you should obviously have planned the date. You know what I mean? You shouldn't ask her what she wants to do. You should figure out what you want to do. And then you got to set up a time to do it. You know, so second reason. Do what you want. <laughs> Close this door. But yeah, third reason. You go on dates, vet 
the other person. You vet the other person. Very important. So if you're looking for more than just sex, you're going to vet the other, even if you're looking for sex. Though it's not necessity, you could go on dates to vet the other person. Because even though you never know what she could be about, you know what I mean? You can ask her questions. Hey, how easy going are you? Hey, do you are you more of a, a cooker? Are you hey, how how is your last relationship go? Hey, how how are you in times of stress? Do you like to work out? Are you open to working out? Whatever it is you want to know about the the person you're on the date with, you ask them the questions. You you know you know project situations, get to know them, who they are, their past, what they all about. You have to vet them. Because if you're looking for something potentially more in the future, of course, at the beginning, it is going to be many sex. But at least you get to have an idea about who they are and what they're about in the beginning. And if things go, you know, as time goes, then you progress into a more um, committed relationship. But it's important. And obviously, you're not going to just do it in one date. You have multiple dates. But and also, this is a way where you you will flirt. And this is part of vetting too. You get to see if the the person you're with is actually sexually attracted to you. Because if they're not sexually attracted to you, that, that'll that be the last date. That's the, the first. That's the bare minimum. You got to make sure they're sexually attracted to you first. You're going to flirt. You're going to do some fairly heavy flirting. You're going to banter a little bit, you know, sexually, you know. And if all goes well, you guys will have sex on the first date. If you enjoy the conversation, they enjoy the conversation, you will have a sex on the first date. They're not crazy. You know, they're not telling you that they used to stalk their ex-boyfriends or, you know, pop the tires on their car, on their ex-boyfriend's car or ex's car whenever they cheated or whatever. Or they were violent or they weren't like whatever it is. If you're looking for potentially more, you first you got to flirt. Get the sexual, make sure they're actually sexually attracted to you and they're for, there because they actually like you and they want to be there for you. And then you get to know them. And over time, if things go well, then you could possibly get into a committed relationship. You know what I mean? So that is very important. You got to vet the person. And four, you know, um, you're going to do something. You're not going to spend too much money. Not too soon. Again, First dates should be very casual, maybe a park, coffee, um, maybe a, a small diner, something very light and casual. You know what I mean? A bar, very casual, something where you don't have to spend too much money because, again, you your, your, your idea of the date is to vet the person. It's not to impress them. It's to vet them. You know what I mean? While having fun and doing what you want to do. You know, so it's not to impress the other the other person. So you're going to start off small, you know, and it, and I get it. Some people's level of small is different depending on your, you know, your, 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 your bank account. But ultimately, you don't want to and you don't want to try to impress a, a, whoever you're dating with your money. That's not what is important. Important is having fun, doing what you want and getting to know them or vetting them. So you got to make sure you minimize the amount of money. And again, you don't have to go on dates if you're not looking to, you know, progress potentially. And you can start off with no dates and over time go uh, get on dates. If, you know, whoever you're dealing with, they are somebody of interest over time and you kind of get to know them over time. Then you can start going on dates. There's no right way to do this, but ultimately you just have to make sure that you are not leading with money. That is very important because you want that person to like you for you. And the final, final tip, last but not mother flipping least, you have to, um, damn. <laughs> so yes, you got to really be able to um, make sure that you are experiencing new things.
experiencing new things. That's the key. You want to experience new things. And you can do that on a budget. You know what I mean? Maybe there's a different restaurant you haven't been to or a diner or maybe a park or um, maybe you're outside of a stadium, <laughs> you know, a, a sporting event. Um, whatever it is, something different because that adds to the experience of the date because at the same time, that will not only add to experience, but it adds to the fun. You could potentially make a memory. And it doesn't have to be, or maybe you go to some sort of painting or a museum, something you've never done, but you've always wanted to do, you know what I mean? And it's like something that's not too expensive. And it's also, you know, something you have interest in, but you just haven't done and you want to do it, you know what I mean? And you can still talk to the person, vet them, you still have fun, do something different, new. Um, and that's key. You got to have experiences. You know, because you want to constantly be growing in life. You know, and you want to have somebody who is willing to grow with you. So, that is all I got for y'all here today. Those are my five reasons you should go on dates. And, um, of course, uh, let me know what you think. Whether you agree or disagree. Let me know if I missed something. You know what I mean? Something you'd like to add. You think I should have added. Um... If you disagree or if you give it thumbs down, let me know in the, the comments respectfully how come or what I missed. Uh, outside of that, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. Uh, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about as well. You know, I know I do a lot of dating relationships here on this channel. We will be expanding. Um, but let me know what other topics, health, wealth, mindset. Let me know. Because this channel is not just for me. And in fact, it's really for you. I just created it, but this channel is for you. I want to help you guys, again, be the best you can be in all aspects of your life. Best versions of yourself. So let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. But yeah, that's it. That's it. Always remember, stay safe. I'll see y'all next week. And always remember, remember, the strongest man is the happiest man.